This is Russian test pilot Yevgeny Frolov. Frolov flies for the Sukhoi Design Bureau here at the Zhukovsky airfield, 30 miles outside Moscow. He flew for the Red Air Force and in his spare time enjoys aerobatics. Today he's flying one of Russia's most talked about fighters, the Su-37. The Su-37, which you see behind me, is very easy to control, very smooth, clever, and behaves like a gentleman. Actually, the Su-37 behaves like no other aircraft in the world. Although it looks like its predecessor, the Su-27, the new Russian fighter has one important difference. On this airplane, the nozzles move up and down. When both nozzles move up and down, it changes the angle. When one nozzle goes up and the other goes down and it is standing on its tail, it can perform a pirouette. Yevgeny Frolov has flown the Su-37 many times. For him, today's flight profile is part of a routine. But for the casual observer, it's a sight to behold. The ability to move the exhaust nozzles in flight is called thrust vector. During a dogfight, such moves can be a deadly surprise. During a display, it's breathtaking entertainment. Thrust vectoring isn't new. The Europeans know how to do it, and the Americans have built it into the F-22. But the Russians have perfected it. One of Frolov's standard maneuvers is the Super Cobra. Here, Frolov sits the plane on its tail and turns. Another is the post-stall loop. Here, Frolov pulls back on the stick during forward flight. Instead of going skyward, the nozzle propels him through an abrupt loop while the plane maintains forward momentum. At one point, Frolov is actually flying backwards in controlled flight. And now the view from the inside. In aerospace circles, this type of flying is called super maneuverability. Some experts claim that aside from entertaining crowds at air shows, it has little use. After all, true dogfighting went out with the Korean War. In today's impersonal world of air-to-air -air missiles, victory or defeat is decided long before a pilot sees the enemy. At least, that's the idea. Whatever the case, the U.S. Air Force isn't taking any chances. Super maneuverability is here to stay, and for the pilots of the future, it's going to take getting used to. When you're flying the Su-37 at low speeds, it feels more like you're flying an aerobatic plane. Everything changes very quickly. For example, the speed display shows zero, and the angle of attack display or horizon indicator are moving so quickly the pilot can't refer to it. So I stay oriented by looking out of the canopy. It's just like flying aerobatic planes, which I did for a long time. <laughs> 